Hey guys, welcome back to RKB Thrifts. I'm just going to go over what sold last night and uh, some of the stuff I picked up today at the thrift and yesterday. Kind of tired. It's, this week's been kind of rough. Been getting up at 6 in the morning where I'm used to getting up a little later than that. But it's uh, school's back and unfortunately so is traffic. But the good thing is I'm getting to the thrift before anybody else because I'm already up. So... That's the caveat to that, but, uh, so I'm just going to go over what sells and, and listen, any, the stuff I'm showing you that, that, that I've sold, it's to be informative. So you can look at it and say, Hey, that's at my thrift store. I know what to look for. It's not, not just saying, Hey, this is what I sold. Look, look at, look at me. Just, you see something and just look for that item and sell it. That's kind of what I'm trying to do here. Just help the community out. Like the community has helped me a lot. So uh let's go over what's sold here first uh this is a superman pillow it's not too big it's like 14 inches i sold this for uh 10 bucks i mean i literally picked it up for a dollar anytime i see any kind of uh, uh pop culture pillows i always pick them up because i've done well and i've sold them all so if you see any pop culture pillows pick them up a buck sell them 10 bucks not a lot but it's better than a dollar right uh then we got uh action figure uh this is a wrestling uh i can't think of his name uh whatever i can't you guys will let me know but suck when i first started reselling there was a whole box of uh wrestling figures a dollar each and i was like yeah i didn't get it i passed on it now that I know, probably a thousand bucks in that box, but when you first start out, you don't know things. And now, if I think something sells, I don't think about it. I grab it and I buy it. What's the worst thing that can happen? You lose three dollars. So don't ever second guess yourself. Always buy it. That's that's what I do. Uh next that's sold. We've got a few things here. I got all these free from my buddy that he was, like I said, I think I did a haul of a bunch of free stuff. So I've got a ton of like games and stuff I got for free that I'm going to make 10 bucks each. I mean, it's not a ton, but you know, 10 bucks for free. I'll take it all day. So 007, 10 bucks. Pablo Francisco, 11 bucks. Guitar Hero Legends, 10 bucks. So right there, that all adds up. Now, would I probably thrift at that stuff? Probably not. I mean, I don't know. For it. Normally, I try to make at least 20 bucks off everything I sell. Unless I can get it for like 50 cents. Or like that pillow, I guess. It's easy to ship a dollar. But generally, I try to make 20 bucks off things. And then, I believe I showed these pants. First video I made. But these uh, cool pants, if you ever pick, i never seen them uh, before. First time I saw them, and the comps on them are amazing. Sold these for 45 bucks. Had best offers for 25 denied them. Uh, it was on Poshmark. I sold these on Facebook Marketplace. For whatever reason, Poshmark, everybody tries to lowball you, and I never accept it. Unless it's just like $5 off. I'll, I'll do it, but... I never really take what they try to give me. And let's go with what I bought uh, today, this morning. Some of the stuff is I'm just going to keep. Like, I bought all these glue sticks for a dollar. Literally, I was school shopping for my daughter. I went late and uh, they were out of glue sticks. But luckily, I picked all these up for a buck. So, boom, there you go. Uh, like I said, the pop culture stuff. This is a, a Batman trash can. I didn't really look up the comps on this yet, but I'm guessing at least 10 to $15. So, I paid like two bucks for it. We'll see. And... 
this is a Garden of the Galaxy toy. It was actually hidden underneath a bunch of plates and stuff. I guess somebody tried to hide this. I don't know, but I found it, looked up the comps, and this thing goes for 30 bucks, and it's $3. So, that's cool. What's next here? Again, again, this is buy paper, buy, buy office supplies and stuff at the thrift because, I mean, it's, you get it for nothing, really. I mean, I bought this calculator my daughter is going to use for middle school. I believe this is a TI-30X2S. I think they need that, the uh, TI-30XS. I mean, this will work a little bit, but I already got the uh, S, so she could use, this one doesn't work. She can use that other one, but for a buck, I mean, come on. Again, the other day, they were out of posted notes at Walmart or Wally World, whatever you want to call it. Bought it for a dollar. Little case. They could post it out. Can't beat that. Uh, another thing, it's a Jansport like, folder holder. Uh, it said a dollar ninety nine, but then I guess there was two stickers on it. This one's three ninety nine. I almost passed, but I was already at the register, so I was like, "No, nah, I'll take it," because I mean, I'm sure she'll like that. Put her folders in or whatnot, and then uh, pool noodles. If you guys aren't using pool noodles yet, you need to. Granted, these were a buck each. You can get that same price at Dollar General or Walmart. You know, a, a buck for each of these. But I was already there. And what I do with these, I don't go swimming with them. I actually, when I ship out glass or, or fragile items, I cut these. And I use them to ship out fragile items. So if you're not using pool noodles, uh, you can look online or, or, or figure it out. But... I would start using these today uh, for your fragile items. And the last but not least, I picked up this. I should have looked the comps up. I didn't, but it's only a couple bucks. Uh, it's a Pax on Pacific Sunwear. It's a uh, hoodie. Uh, buttons. I thought it looked nice. If I'm guessing, at least 20 bucks. That's just guessing. Speculative. And that's pretty much for today. Uh, I gotta get some of these orders packed up and uh, we'll make another video this week. Y'all take care.